Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Eugenia. Enjoy your manguñada. <laughs> yes, teacher, para quitar la ansiedad. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I wish I could do the same. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Así se mantiene despierta. Yes. De hecho, usted nos, nos mantiene despiertos toda la clase. <ríe> Por preguntarme. <dijo. ríe> es que si no, se me duerme y yo me duermo también. Entonces, no, no se puede. <ríe> My camera is on. on. Ok, soy Javi Melda, Javi Melda, Eduardo, Pablo, Caro, Lisbeth, Lisbeth Alfaro. ¿Quién es Lisbeth Alfaro? Emerson Ulises. Just give me a sec. Hi, Xiomara. Hi, teacher. You asked wow. for the... Okay, so I think we're going to start. Just let me send another message to them because it's 8.02 and we should have more people, right? So. Okay, so we're gonna start here today with one quick question, right? My question for you today is, what do you remember from last class? From last week, actually. Vocabulary that you remember, phrases that you remember, anything that you might think is important, tell me about it, please. What do you know? Hmm? Nothing. I remember the time clause. You remember the time classes? Okay, very well. What do you remember about the time classes? And they use a uh, uh, before, after, and uh, once, until, uh, as soon as. As soon as possible. Okay, very good. That's nice. And you're totally right. Excellent. We're using time classes. Very good. Um, choose another person, Adalberto. Excuse me? Choose another person, choose another student, please. Uh -huh. Carla Eugenia. Carla Eugenia. Okay, Carla Eugenia, what do you remember from last class? This es un, um, vimos el how to use zero conditional. Oh, okay. How to use zero conditional and what about that? And if and when. If and when, okay. Vimos también. And I will be able to. And I direction. Uh -huh. De comprar. Okay, and directions for uh, buying. En línea, comprar en, como comprar en línea. Okay, to buy online. Very good. Yes, we're supposed to buy online. Excellent. Excellent. What else do you remember? Uh -huh. um, estuvimos también el de el gerundio que lo venimos viendo de hace ratito. Okay, gerund phrases. Very good. Gerund phrases. Excellent. Now, what about uh, you, Emerson? What do you remember? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I remember the use of the rund and uh, and infinitive verbs. Okay, in infinitives too. Yes, that's right. Okay, what else? Um, well, 
example. I view the notes. Oh yeah, take notes. That's perfect. For example, the, we we are studied uh, about the the phrases in the headroom Okay, we study about the germs. That's totally right. Okay. Use uh, the going to. Um, only that. Only that. Okay. Perfect. No, that's great. Thank you so much. Hey, who else? Who else wants to participate? Alexander, you came to classes like two days. What do you remember? Mm -hmm. And the use of gerunds. We use gerunds, okay. Gerunds, uh, they use the so and such. Oh, and such. Okay, perfect. And what do you remember about that? Do you remember any example? Um, the, we use so when we use an adjective and we have to use such when we use in the sentence a uh, noun. Okay, perfect. Perfect, very good. Thank you so much, Alexander. Anybody else? Let's see, Xiomara, what do you remember? Eh, el, el gerundio y el uso de... Okay, tell subject. me in English. Try to tell me in English. Uh -huh. The use of subject. Uh -huh. Uh, so and such. Mm -hmm. So and such. And? What else? What else? Nothing else? Yes, Imeta, what else? Yes. Do you remember any any words that you would like to share? Any vocabulary that you remember from last class? Hola, hola. Yes, do you remember vocabulary? No recuerdo. You don't remember vocabulary. Recuérdense siempre que tengan una palabra nueva, es vocabulario. La escribimos y le ponemos su significado y le ponemos una oración que no es simple, right? Que nos recuerde, ah, para esto la voy a usar, right? Si no, no se van a recordar de su vocabulario. Yo quise recordar mi vocabulario y no pude. Right? Take notes. Tomen nota, ¿por qué hacen eso? Si alguien les pregunta, ok, let me see my notes, porque no tienen que recordarse todo. Yo no me acuerdo de todo, right? Cuando voy a dar una clase tengo que estudiar, entonces so, ustedes hacen lo mismo. You study and then you practice, right? Porque para eso estamos, entonces tomen nota, siempre tomen nota, no solo en esta clase, en todas las clases de inglés. ¿Por 
que le va a ayudar mucho. Créame lo que le va a ayudar. Ok, now, and don't worry. Vamos a comenzar hoy a tomar notas. Ok? So, let's start. Let's start with today's class. Well, we're going to go today, right? And we're going to start working with our class. All right, we're gonna go. Last week, we were working with time clauses, right? And we were a little bit confused with time clauses, right? Because time clauses, pretty much, they are words or phrases that help us to know which activity comes first and which activity comes second, right? So we have two parts of the activity. So pretty much what we're going to do is to think of these activities, right? And like the structure that we're going to follow. Now, the words that we practiced last, last week, right? We have several words that we practiced. So time words or time expressions. Time expressions. Some other people, they call it conjunctions, right? Conjunctions mean it like to connect, right? So some people call them like that, right? So you can call them like that too if you want, right? So for these time expressions or conjunctions for the time classes, right? Remember that we are going to have simple words, right? Like the words we have been working before, after, as long as, as soon as, right? So let me put, in, put them here. Here, before, after, um, as soon as. What's another one? Do you remember another time expression? Until. Until, okay. Until, what else? Once. Once. Once, okay. Very good. We have once. Another one? We're going to have as long as, right? As long as, right? That's very important, right? As soon as, as long as. Now, when we have until, we can also have till, right? It's pretty much the same. Until or till, right? Same thing, right? Till or until. We can have while. Remember when we saw that in present progressive? While, right? When, whenever. Right? These are phrases that we can use. Of course, today you don't have to use them all, right? As long as you practice, then we're going to be fine, right? Now, these time clauses, you can use them in present, future, or past, right? Today, we're going to practice them because if we are in level four, we're going to practice here with present or future, right? We know the future, so we're gonna be okay with that. We're gonna work with them with present or with the futures. So let us put this here. Remember, these are the time expressions that we're going to use. And now we're going to see the structure, right? What is the structure for this? With the structure, right, you're going to have pretty much the, well, in this case, we're gonna use present or future, like I said, we're gonna have the main clause and the time clause, right? Main clause. And we are going to have the time clause with no problem. And like we said, this is going to be present or future, right? Present or future, either or. Remember, it can also be in past, right? So since it can be in past, there's no problem. Since we're gonna have present or future, Right. When we make these uh, examples here in the main clause, listen to this, in the main clause, we're going to use imperative, right? 
imperative. Let's put it here. One moment. You remember imperatives from level one? Imperative. Future. We can use imperative or future. Right? And in the other one, right? We can use simple present or present simple, right? Imperative here. And here we're gonna use simple present. Here also can be, it can be simple present in the first one. And we have simple present and simple present. Right, we can use either or. I'm gonna put it here. And here we can have in the simple present, right? Simple present or future. Right. Now, in our examples, if we go to the book, right? Let's go a little bit to the book, please. Right now, everyone, we're going to go to the book. Right. In the book, we can see there that our examples are with simple present. Okay. Those are our examples. Let me show you the book in a moment. Just one moment, please. We're just gonna make this work, right? So we can have it there. Jesus Christ, give me a moment. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, right? Now, let's take a look at the time clauses that we have in the book, right? In the book, we have a time clause that is with simple present and simple present, right? So we have, this is our time clause, and this is going to be our main clause, right? Time clause and main clause, right? We can also have here the time clause and the main clause. We always have, Right, simple present and simple present. Let's take a look at what we have here, right? And we're gonna take this one. Let's take it and let's go back to our example here. Okay. Look at our example. Our main clause is going to be, we are authorized to change items. That's our main clause, right? So we're gonna put this right here. We are authorized to change the items. And our time clause is until we check the purchase order, right? So we have two parts that we are going to divide, right? Do you understand so far? Is it clear? Is it clear or am I getting you lost? Hello, hello? Estamos perdidos como citadino en ataco o, 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 o vamos entendiendo? More or less, teacher. More or less, okay. Perdidos, More teacher. Perdidos. More or less, okay. <laughs> Pregúntenme ahorita. Vamos a la mitad. And the use and time clause the only is in present or, or future. Present or future, right now. But you can use it in the past. En estos oh, momentos okay. la vamos a aprender solamente en, en, en present and future. Y enfocándonos en los ejemplos del libro, simple present, ¿ok? okay Lo que pasa yeah. es que acá estos van juntos. Entonces ahí... Vamos viendo, simple present, simple present, right? Vamos a ir por pedacitos. Ya en nivel 5 les enseñamos future y después el past. <laughs> okay, 
Very good, Adalberto. That's a Miss. good question. Yes, Carol? Miss, the time clauses it is conjunction, conjunctions? Yes, conjunctions. Conjunctions? conjunctions. Yes, okay. conjunctions are they are time expressions, they are called conjunctions, they are called connectors. Right, so it's in same. Exam, in mm -hmm. example, we are authorized, authorized to change items. What is the time clause? What is the time clause? Very good question. Very good question, uh, Carol. So here, what are we going to do? In the time class, right, we are going to have a time expression. What is the time expression in this sentence? We are authorized to change items until we check the purchase order. What is the time, the time expression? Can you see it? Until. Yes, Tatiana, it is until. So this is my time expression. So I'm going to oh, check it. Here. Oh, todo eso es una sola oración, no son dos separadas. No, it is one, right? I'm just putting in here, right? So we can see the division, right? Okay. I took, okay. I took this sentence. Okay. No, I took the sentence from here. This is from the book, right? This is from the book. The book is giving us the sentence. Solo le hemos copiado y le hemos pegado para analizarla. Right? So, we have it there. And our word is going to be until. Right? This is our, we're going to put it here, time or conjunction. Right? We're going to put it T, C. Right? T, C. Time expression, T, E. T-E, time expression, right? That's the time expression. And how do we know what is the time clause, right? We need to find the main clause and the time clause, right? The time clause is going to be after the time expression, right? The time clause is going to be after the time expression. So this one right here, my dear friends, right? So we're gonna go from here. Let me put it here with another color. Let's choose green, right? From here to here, right? This is our time, time class, right? That is our time clause. Our time clause is always going to be composed of the following, right? Time expression plus subject plus verb in present, in simple present. Right? That's going to be my time clause. Right? If you look at that, that's what we have there. What is the subject in the time class? What is the subject in the time class? We. We, that's perfect, yes, Carol. We is the subject, and what is the verb? Check, exactly, check. Eugenio, exactly, Emerson. Check, right, we, until we check the purchase order. If you remember, if you remember, last week you created examples, but they were not like this. So today we're checking every single detail, right, of this. So we have time expression plus subject plus very simple present. That's the first part. And that is what we call time class, right, time class. Now, please copy this, copy eso si pueden, right? And I'm going to call the tenants. Voy a pasar la asistencia en lo que ustedes copian es. Y seguimos con la explicación. ¿Ok? So I need to have here Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recino Salar Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. 
Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present, Miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Rodríguez. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enrique. Present. Present. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Luis Javier Castillo. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Tenira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Habla de Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. ¿Me hizo falta alguien? Let me check. Mira, Elena, Lisbeth, Lisbeth es Joana, hoy sí, ahí está Frank, Oscar Noé también, Wendy también, Vladimir Rodríguez también. Carol y Vladimir, no les van a valer la asistencia, porque solo ponen solo un nombre, igual Francisco. Ah, lo que sucede es que ahorita estoy conectado al cel, me debe llegar a la casa, me conecto a la compu y ya está completo. Ay. Vaya, cipote, gracias. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, no me hizo falta nadie, ¿verdad? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue with the class. Now, we go here, we go ahead and check it. So, this is the time class, right? Now, what is the other part? The other part of the sentence is simply the main class, right? That's what we call in English, our main class. And the main class is as simple as that, right? Now let me go ahead and do it with a different color. We're gonna do it with orange, right? We have here our main clause. And what is a main clause? The main clause, pretty much, it doesn't have a time expression. If you look at this, it says, we are authorized to change items. And the main clause must have Subject plus verb in present, in this case, in simple present, of course, plus complement, right? Now, the complement, you remember, is optional, it's just the same as here, right? We forgot to put it here. The complement is optional, but we always put it just in case you want to add more information, right? Subject plus verb in simple present plus complement, right? And the same we got here, right? Time expression plus subject plus verb, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, the importance, the importance of the time clauses is, for example, in zero conditional, it was easier to put the main clause first and then the time clause or change it, right? It was easier. But here you have to pay attention to the time clauses because if you put it in a different place, it might, it might have a different meaning. Okay? It may have a different meaning. Imagine if I put until we check the purchase order, we are authorized to change the items. Mm -mm. Right? What activity? Here we have two activities, right? We have this activity and this activity, two activities. Which one do you think happens first? This one or this one? We have two situations, right? Those type, time classes are, are helping us to connect two situations in time. So which one goes first, according to you? The first action is, is uh, we are authorized to change. Exactly. We are authorized to change, right? That is the first, 
right? The first situation, the first activity. We're authorized to change items until we check the purchase order, right? Now, we're going to check some other examples from the book, right? We have examples from the book. Now, I want to know if you have questions right now. Questions? No? Okay. No teacher. No. Okay. Yes? Um, when we use in the future, we can you can we use uh, going to or just with? You can use going to and will. Okay. You can use either or. Yes. And even you can use sometimes present progressive because that will uh, say the future, right? Very good question, Bernardo. What about the others? Questions? Okay, so that's what time clauses are about, right? Those are time clauses. Now, I'm gonna show you here some, I think I have some exercise. Do I have some exercise? Give me a moment. Sorry, it's not open out here. Okay, let's go ahead and do something because this is taking longer than expected, right? What we're going to do right now is that with the information that we have, these examples, and following the examples from the book as well, because here we have a lot of examples. We have more than nine examples, right? What, we're, what are we going to do? I need you to think of an example, right? Write one example with before, after, until, only one sentence, one time clause today, right? But with that time clause, identify, right? What is the time clause and what is the main clause? Identify also the time word that you're using, the time expression or conjunction, and tell us which activity you think is gonna go first, right? That's what you're going to do right now. Write one example. Once you have your example ready, put it in the chat, okay? Put your example in the chat. Follow this information, right? One sentence, simple present, simple present, right? Simple present, simple present, that's it. No estamos viendo el futuro ahorita, solamente el simple present. Lo que nos piden ahorita que lo hagamos super. So let's write one example. Yo sé que quieren ir con los otros, pero Ahorita eso lo que vamos a trabajar. I mean, if you have questions, please. If not, start thinking about one example.
Did you finish? Do you have your example ready? I can use a present progressive. Right now, try to use only present and present. Simple present and simple present. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Emerson, what are you missing after the time expression after? Look at the structure. You have this structure here, right? Time expression plus subject plus verb in simple present plus complement. What are you missing? In your example. I can process this for after you sign the contract. Okay, what's gonna happen first, Jose? Sign the contract. You sign the contract, right? Exactly. After, okay, follow the structure. Follow the structure, Adalberto. Follow the structure. We have a structure, right? Subject plus verb plus complement. We have a structure, subject plus verb plus complement. Always make sure that your examples have the same. You enter the invoice later until you have the values. Just before. Eduardo, follow the example. Follow the structure. I eat as soon as I cook, as soon as I cook, as soon as. Write the complete phrase. As, as. As soon as. Okay. So Emerson, Adalberto, Eduardo, write it again. I eat as soon as I cook. Very good. After I take dinner, I have dinner, half dinner. Very good, Emerson. Don't write a period, okay? It's just complete sentence. Very good. So we have those examples there for time classes, right? We're just gonna wait for the others. Just a few more examples. I don't see the example from Imelda, Tatiana, Daisy, Wendy, Oscar, Francisco, Elena. What are your examples? Todos esos ejemplos hipótesis. Oscar. Okay. Remember, you can, in simple present, Oscar Noé. You cannot combine the verb to be with another verb. Simple present is simple present is being divided in two: verb to be and other verbs. You cannot combine them. So your exam your example is incorrect. Siempre, siempre se lo voy a decir en español porque ya se los he dicho varias veces. Cuando tenemos I, yo, I, the I, you, we, they, I. Siempre va a ir en mayúscula. 
No importa si va al inicio, al final, en medio de la oración. La palabra I es yo. I eat uh, pizza. I eat pizza. Yesterday I ate pizza. I siempre ve mayúscula. Ok. Eso es gramaticalmente. Eso no lo podemos cambiar. I listen to classic music while I learn English. Classic music. Music. Uh -huh. I promise to go to the beach until you do your homework. Excellent, Pablo. Very good. After play video games, I'm going to eat pizza. Eh, Imelda, present and present. Present and present. I'm going to eat. It's future. I need you to do present and present. Oscar Noé, vuelve a escribir su oración. I take a bath in the morning after I run in the park. Yes, yes, yes. I'm learn no, Noé. I learn English. Okay, perfect. Now, after we the, after this time expressions, I play the guitar at night after after English class. No, you need to have in your time expression, Francisco Lopez, subject plus verb. English class is not subject; it's not verb. I drink coffee while I study English. Me too, Wendy. Very good. I drink water a lot until I finish my exercise routine. No comma in the middle, Javier. Remove the comma. I don't have a comma here, so don't write a comma. Everything else is perfect. I think a lot of water, uh -huh. muy bien, a lot of water until, da, 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 da. right? until I finish my exercise routine. And let's see, I think I'm missing Carlas. Until I play for the champion, I can start wearing the medal. Okay, very good, excellent. Now, very good. Now, do you have questions about the exercise we just did? Do you have questions? It's important you ask questions. ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Nadie tiene preguntitas? Vamos. No, I pay the bills until I receive my salary. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Okay, now let us continue then if we don't have questions, right? We're going to work right now with a very simple exercise that you are going to, that we're going to do together right now, right? On the screen, right? This is on page 46 on your book. So please go to page 46, right? 46, I'm working in a project at the moment. 
perfect Daisy, but I don't see any time expression. We're using conjunctions right now. We're connecting two sentences. Si se fijan, hasta, el, hasta ahorita hemos hecho oraciones simples, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Ahora estamos haciendo oraciones compuestas. Estamos agarrando una oración, uniéndola con otra. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Right? Ya estamos haciendo algo un poquito más complejo que lo que, lo que aprendimos a hacer anteriormente. Daisy, your sentence is perfect. Su oración está perfecta, pero no son dos oraciones conectadas. Right? Ok, now. Let us continue here. We have, we're going to complete a purchase order, right? Do you remember what is a purchase order? What is a purchase order? Vladimir, what is a purchase order? It's a document to emit when I have a, how do you say, pedido? A purchase order. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a purchase order, then you need to make a purchase order document, right? Very good, Vladimir. Excellent. Yes. Everyone that's uh, on this, like accountants, right? If you're an accountant, you know about purchase order. So what you're going to do right now is to help me out to submit information here, right? Here we need to put company, phone, address, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right, so what could, what should we put here? I need you to think about your company, right? And what could be the purchase order that we're going to put here? For example, here I'm gonna put my, my company, right? It's English Corporativo, right? I'm gonna put it here, English Corporativo. S A D C B no es así, ¿verdad? Pero así lo vamos a dejar. Con number, um, bueno, pues two two four five five six eight nine. Address, ninety eh, first Avenue, right, Colón Escalón. San Salvador. Vendor, right? It's the same, right? I'm gonna put it here. And we're gonna ship it to uh, Carol Escalante. Right. This is going to be today's day, October 17th, 2022. Now, what can we put here, right? What other information should I put in the purchase order? Alexander, what should I go next? I put the simple information there, right? What is quantity? What am I selling to, you know, English Corporativo, we sell courses, we sell uh, books, we sell programs, Excel programs, right? So what, what should I put here? Jose, Carla, Pablo, Help me out. What should I put in details? Quantity, unit price, total. Think about it. Help me out to finish, to finish this part. I need this, 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 and this. So this. We, we, we already know what it, what, what it is, right? Or you can think about your company. Think about your company right now. Carol, I will give you two minutes to think. Finish your purchase order on your book.
Kami please. Yes, Flavian? What do you think? Yes. Okay. What do you put there, Vladimir? Details. Mm -hmm. on motor of air conditioner. Air conditioning. Okay, very good. So we're going to put it here. Do? Air conditioning. Okay, give me a moment. Motors. Air conditioning motors. Okay. Okay, good, mm -hmm. good, good. In quantity? Two. Oh, two. Okay, good. Two. Unit price? $100. $100. Okay. $100. I'm going to put here. And the total? $200. $200. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. What do you have in your details? Uh, Uncle? Franco. Hola, tengo un poco de, de lag, pero vamos a ver si me escucha. Uh -huh. eh, detail chocolate. Chocolate, oh, delicious, okay. Chocolate. Quantity, two boxes. Two boxes, okay, two boxes. Very good. Unit price, unit price, ten dollar. Ten dollars. Good. Total? Total, total uh, 20. 20. 20 bucks. Very good. $20. Very good. Franco, excellent. Thank you. Imelda, what do you have? Desk. Huh? Desk. Desk. Like this? Sí, yes. Yes, okay. Desk. Desk. Okay. Money. Three. Mm -hmm. three. 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 Okay, good. Unit price? Uh, 200. 200. 200. Total? Uh, 600. 600. So, los clientes a Walmart. Okay. So, thank you so much, <laughs> Imelda. Right? Now, Eugenia, what is the total amount for all of this? Uh -huh. So, it's a total of? Yes. 820. Okay, is that correct? 820. 80, 120. 800. Son 820. Okay, and in English, how are we going to say that? 820. 820. Okay, 20. very good. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to go here. $820. That's the total amount. Very good. All right. Now, let's read this. All right. Eight. Hundred. Twenty. Twenty. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, the fact that we said 80, that's another number, right? 880. 880, right? Oh, that's a lot. 
So let's take a look at the difference. Do you understand how to fill out a purchase order in English? Easy, right? It's the same as in Spanish, pretty much, right? Do you have questions about this vocabulary? Questions about the vocabulary? Teacher. Yes. How do you say guión? Dash. Hash. Dash. Uh, dash. Yes. Okay. Dash. Look at the chat. Yes, yes, I see. Dash. Thanks. Excellent. Yes. Uh, how do you say uh, numeral? Hashtag. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, there is a number. There is another um, thing, but I think that's for numbers, right? Let's put it here. Numeral. How do you say numeral in English? Let's take a look at this. Maybe. Give me a moment. Miss, yes. how do you say uh, the tie? How do you say what? Uh, the tie. Mm, da, 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 da. Before quantity. Before quantity. Details. 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 Okay. Details. 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 Yes. Details. Good question, Tatiana. Thank you. Another one? Questions? Shall we continue? Okay, let's continue then. Right, we're gonna work here with other activity. Right now, this is pretty much uh, vocabulary that we are going to use. This is going to help us as well, right, for our practice, but only if you are an accountant, right? Let's remember that this is related to financial activity, right? To financial activity. So if you work with accountants or if you're planning to do so, or if you're planning to work as a virtual assistant, this information will help you, right? So we have vocabulary here. Can you help me with the pronunciation? Carol, please repeat with me. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Equity statement. Equity statement. Annual budget. Annual budget. Income statements. Income statements. Cash flow statement. Class flow statements. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to please help me also with pronunciation, Xiomara. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Equity statement. Equity statement. Annual budget. Annual budget. Income statements. Income statement. Income statements. Income statement. Statements. A statement. A statements. A statement. A statement. A statement. A Cash flow statement. Cash flow statement. Thank you so much. So this is vocabulary that we already practice. We already know the definition. Ya conocemos la definición. So we just need to know when do we do this? Do we use the balance sheet it's a, as a monthly report or once a year or in both? Monthly reports the monthly report okay very good balance what about the equity statement 
-hmm. Once a year. Once a year. Okay, I don't know, you're telling me. Equity, equity, equity statement. Okay. A mí se me olvida cómo escribir el statement, fíjese. Y maintenance también. No sé por qué. Okay, so we have balance sheet, equity, equity statement. Annual budget. Annual budget. Once a year. Once a year, okay. Annual budget. Right. Income statements. Monthly, monthly report. Monthly report. Income statement. Of course, right? We need to know what's going on. Income statement. And cash flow statement. Monthly, monthly report. Monthly report. Okay, very good. Ooh, cash cash flow statements. Right. Very good. According to the definitions that we have worked with, right? These ones, we do them every month and these ones, we do them every year. So I need you to please put this on your vocabulary and practice this vocabulary at home, right? It's very important you do so. Practice the vocabulary. Now, as you can see in the book, right? In this book, we have vocabulary, right? That we're going to continue working with. And we have also some other activities and that's, that's it, right? We don't have more. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to complete our time for this week with other topics that will like complement what we're doing, okay? Today, we're going to continue this hour with first conditional, okay? We already work with zero conditional. Today, we're going to work with first conditional. Is that clear? Now, tomorrow, we're going to practice with the other grammar topics. And on Wednesday, tomorrow, we're gonna practice with going to, right? And on Wednesday, we're going to practice with good. So we can finish. Mostly, speaking activities right mostly speaking so let me show you here right now what we are going to do just give me one second yes we have a lot of exercises people a lot of exercises
one moment. I'm just trying to access here so we can work together. Give me a moment here. My goodness, this is so small. No. Okay, I think we're gonna do it here, right? <laughs> Sorry. This is just my boss. Okay, now we're gonna work with the first conditional. The first conditional pretty much is going to be very, very similar, right, to the zero conditional. The only thing is that we're going to use this for things that are going to be real, right? So it's something that's going to be probable. It's a probability that's going to happen. Now, we're going to put it here. I think, I think you can see my whiteboard, right? I'm gonna put here first conditional. Remember, if you want to say something that is going to be more than likely going to happen, we're going to use first conditionally. How do we know that? Right. I want you to please, Bernardo, help me out and read the function for the first conditional, please. I'm going to put it here. Function. Mm -hmm. The type one conditional refers to a possible condition and its probable result. These sentences are based on facts and they are used to make statement, statements about the real world and about particular situations. We often use such sentences to give warnings. In type one conditional sentences, the time is the present or the future and the situation is real. Okay. Very good, thank you. So look at this, things or keywords that we're going to put in. The time is the present or future and the situation is real, right? It's a probable result, right? They are based on facts, right? Based on facts. And they are used to make statements about the real world. Right? That's what we use. First conditionals for, right? So everything is going to be probable. It's very likely to happen. Do you understand that part right now? That's the function, right? That's when we're going to use it for. Is that clear? No? Yes. Yes? Okay, now. What are we going to do? We're going to work with the structure. The structure, again, we're going to have the if clause and the main clause, right? So usually right, what we're going to do is that we're going to have, in the, in the if clause, we're going to have simple present. And in the 
main class we're going to have teacher. Okay, so let me put it here for you. If class, and we're going to also have here, right, main class, if class and main class, right? The if class, like we say, is the condition. Let me put it here. Right. Condition. And the main clause is going to be our result or consequence, as you want to see it, right? The main result is going to be our consequence, right? Now, after that, so we need to make sure that in the if clause, right, is going to be if plus the simple present. So all the sentence must be in simple present. Right, if plus simple present. And in the other sense, it's going to be the tense, the simple future. Usually with will, right? Usually it's going to be with will, but you can use also going to. So either way, we're going to be fine, right? Simple future and simple present, right? Now we're gonna make one or two examples here. Our first example is uh, pretty much we say that if something happens, not something is going to happen, right? That's pretty much what we're gonna do. Um, let's say if if I don't study, if I don't study hard, right? If I don't study hard, comma, right? That will be my comma. We're going to separate here because we want to make this simple, right? If I don't study hard, I will get bad scores in the exam. If I don't study hard, I will get bad scores in the exam. Now here, right, we can see we have our if clause, simple present. Then we have here future, right? And we don't have if, right? Do you understand this part right now with the first conditional? Is it clear for you or you think you need more help right now? Do you understand this example? ¿Entendemos este ejemplo? No? I need you to tell me, please. Yes, it's your. Yes? Yes. Okay. Thank you. What about the others? Solo estaré segura de dos. Dos personitas que me acaban de decir que sí. The other ones, I don't know. Yes, Jer. Yes? Yes. Okay. So we're dividing this right now, right? We're dividing this. This is going to be our charge, right? For us to understand how we move from the if clause from in the main clause. Remember here, the verse and the subjects, they cannot be missed. I cannot say, if I, if I don't, oh, if don't study hard, get bad scores. No. If I don't study hard, if Elena doesn't study hard, she will get. So we need subject per complement, right? We need all the parts of the sentence to make sure we understand them. Of course, right, of course here, Right, when we make our example, right, when we make our example, we can change this. I will get bad scores if I don't study hard, right? Sometimes you can like change the position of these words, right? So 
they are you understand them better right you can change them right so we have this structure questions right now questions let me put this is the first right this is that like the big explanation that we have now let me put here more examples look at these two these are exactly exactly the same they have the same meaning examples right Look at this. Carlos Vladimir, could you read the two examples, please? Okay, in this moment. Yes. Vladimir? Yes, I Uh, I have enough money. No, read the examples. <laughs> yes, thank you. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't hurry. Uh, you will miss the bus. Okay. You will miss the bus if you don't hurry. 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 Harry Potter now. Hurry. Okay. Hurry. Yes, very good. Now let's read your example. If I have enough money, I will buy some shoes. Yes, that's perfect, Vladimir. Thank you very much. Vladimir put his example right there. That's good, right? If I have enough money, I will buy some new shoes, right? If I have enough money, I will decorate my house in Halloween, right? Things that will there. Now, if you see the two sentences, number one and number two, right? They have the same meaning. It's exactly the same. The only thing that we're doing is that we're changing the position of the sentences, the main clause and the time clause. If we put the main clause at the beginning, we if we start with F, we use comma. But if you start with a main clause, we do not use a comma. That's important too. Right? So we need to be very careful with that. If I work a lot, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Nothing in El Salvador, but yes. <laughs> yes, very good example, Carol. <laughs> right? What else? Write your examples. Make sure that you put there your examples. Right? Recuerden, escribimos los ejemplos para ver si están buenos, si vamos entendiendo, si nos falta. Si necesitamos cambiar la, la información. So write your examples, please. And tell me if you have questions. Pregunten, por favor. We can say, if there is another hurricane, we will not have classes. Right? That's a fact. If I don't fix my car, I don't will go to the beach. Mm. Can I use don't and will in the same sentence, Franco? I don't will, I, I, I don't going to the beach. I don't going, uh-uh. The auxiliary do and I does. Will, I, will, I will don't go to the beach. Mm -mm. The auxiliary will. Mr. Franco is only for future. 
the auxiliary do and does is only for present. Okay. So I will, if you want to make it negative, it will be will not. Why not? Will not mm. or won't. Right? So write it again. Okay. You yeah. will have cavities if you don't brush your teeth. That's true. Or if you eat too much candy. Right? If you do your homework today, I will buy you a video game next month. Please, Adalberto, buy me a video game. I finished my homework. If it rains a lot, the state will be flooded in San Salvador. <laughs> Very good. Now, the only thing, Marlene, will be flooded. Yeah, will be flooded. Very good. For example, Stacy, Tatiana, Noé, Francisco Lopez. If I study very hard, I will have more opportunities. Hope so. This way. Hope so. Study negocios. Estudia negocios. Estudia para inglés. Para, solo para dar clase. If I make exercise, I will have an athletic body. If I do exercise, do. Exercise, I will have an athletic body. Do exercise. Athletic, athletic, athletic body, or fit body, fit, fitness. Yes, very good. Sara Vigail, your example, Francisco Lopez, your example. Magaña, your example. I want to see your, your what would you have there in mind? Teacher, ese, ese yeah. make, entonces ese make es de crear algo. When you use make, algo. when you use make, is usually when you put your hands into it, right? It's something that you can create, right? Uh, but when you just do, right, you do your homework, do your bed is something where you mostly you use your thoughts what you think right but so when you're going to do exercise right, you're thinking about it you just not use your body but you also use your brains to do exercise this is class del nivel dos yo creo que ahí tengo ahí tengo un documento se lo voy a enviar Okay, Carla Eugenia. It will have. It says it will have. Hmm. Who is it? What do you mean it? If you drink coffee very early, you will. You will what, Oscar? You're missing a verb. You will ver energy all day. Carla Eugenia. Who is it? It says it will have flowers. You va con minúscula, Oscar. Okay, so do we understand first conditional? What do you think? Shall we make some exercises? Yeah, ready? Very easy. I think we're gonna have easy exercises there, right? Give me a moment. Yeah. 
Okay. Now that we have this, right? Just let me show you one second. I want you to look at this example that we're gonna make. <laughs> this is going to be, you will have here like uh, the basic information, right? On your example, if class, right? Plus the main class, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So what are you going to do here? You will have 15 sentences in which you are going to complete the sentences and you're going to use your imagination, right? To complete them. That's why you're gonna work in groups. It says, if we don't arrive on time, our teacher will be angry, right? I will watch TV if I have time, right? So we have different situations here that we are going to complete, right? with our imagination. So you're not going to have the same answers. What we're going to care about is that you use the correct grammar instruction, right? So let me go ahead and send you this right now. I'm gonna send you two things, right? First, the first part here, which is the document that you already have. But let me see if I can send it because I do not have WhatsApp. Teacher, voy a estar en una reunión, José Alexander. Señor José Alexander. Okay, I think you can see it. That's the first part. I don't know. Can you help me out, eh, Vladimir, with the screenshot for this part, if you don't mind? Thank you. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Kind and quick. <laughs> now, what we're going to do right now, so we're going to have working groups, right? Today, I don't have many oyentes. I just have Joana and Jose Alexander, right? Los otros, tengo entendido que vamos a trabajar en equipos. So let's get to work. Carlos, Elena, and Luis Javier, estamos bien? Para trabajar, no tengo oyentes ahí. Ya Elena. estoy ready. Ok, ready. José, Oscar y Sara, ¿estamos bien? Ready, teacher. Ok, ready. Very good. José sí está en reunión, así que él va a estar de oyente. Carla, Pablo y Tatiana. Ready, miss. Eduardo, Emerson y José. Listo, listo. Ready. Daisy, Franco, en Imelda. Yes, teacher. Ok. Carol, Lisbeth y Wendy. Okay. Creo que voy a hacer un pequeño cambio con un grupito. Ok, solo déjenme ver acá. Okay. Let's go. Let's get to work, please. We already have the exercise. Use your creativity, right, to make your sentences. First conditional. Let's go. <coughs> Daisy, ponga micrófono. Apagado.
Daisy y Franco, váyanse para su equipo. Daisy, váyanse a su equipo. Francisco. Son. Luis. No veía a Imelda. Imelda está por ahí. Sí, pero tiene problemas con el Inter. Pero aquí está, aquí está. Se va y se viene, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Creo que vamos a hacer algo. Lo voy a pasar a otro equipo, Emerson. ¿Ok? Y ahí okay. lo voy a pasar a otro equipo también para que no vaya a perder su práctica. Bye. Ok, vamos a ver. Ahí hola, sí. hola, aquí estoy. Hola, señorita. ¿Está, está, está internet estable o lo tiene bien malo? Porque así los cambios... Fíjese que ahorita me acaba de sacar porque no... No me estaba dando problemas hasta ahorita. Pero aquí estoy. Ok. Ah, pues sí. Trabaja en Emerson. <ríe> Bye. Yes. Share my screen. Ok. Démosle. If you get up the fire club. We, if just, we, just to point out, sorry to interrupt you. Um, number three says, if he gets up at five o'clock, oh, yeah, 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 Pay attention yeah, 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 y
laugh es como carcajearse. Si yo me río, laugh. Eh, ya, ya vamos a buscar. To smile while making sound with your voice that show you think some funny. Ajá, claro, claro, claro. Claro que sí. You are happy, sí. Y... If I listen, yo me reiré. Ah, ahí dice, yo me reiré. Puede ser, I will laugh if I if listen to some funny. Se escucha I algo gracioso. Listen, listen to some. Funny. ¿Sí? O, o very funny, porque es carcajeo, ¿verdad? Very funny. Uh -huh. Vale. If you if our exam isn't tomorrow. Me enfermo. ¿Ah? I am I am will sick. <laughs> I will. We will. We will sack. <laughs> no. Es we tal. will study a lot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Study a lot. <laughs> Another. They won't buy a new car. Ellos no pueden comprar un carro. Ah. If they don't have money, ¿qué le parece? Uh -huh. Ellos no pueden comprar un carro si ellos no tienen dinero. Está bien. Another, if you hit me. La número 5, if the phone ring. Si se en el teléfono, ah, si se en el teléfono, se dice responder. Answer. Answer. Um, is on the telephone. Uh, will I answer the call? Answer. Uh -huh. oh. 
Loved. Loved. En la tres que habíamos dicho. En la número tres. He will arrive early to his work. Hola. Cuatro, perdón. If we not breakfast, we will we will. We will. Oh no. Espérate que la número 6. No puedo. La número seis. Sí. I will love if I go to the circus. Seis. Sí. Número siete. I will me dice. If we, no, if I go, <coughs> uh -huh, go sí. to mm. sí, the circus. En la número 5. Porque le he puesto he en la número 5. He will answer the call. On ring. Si suena el teléfono. Él le contesta la, la llamada. llamada. Ah, ok. okay. Él, puede ser todo. Tú. Sí, es que yo le había puesto will. I will. Ah, ok. De, de, de mí, ok. Pero no, así déjela, así déjela, así déjela. Vaya, if I go to, ya nos queda, hijo. Ah, ya nos fuimos. Bueno, sigue cuatro, avanzando, ¿no? En la cuatro, as if we. If we. Ajá, not, de no, breakfast, si no desayunamos a las 8 a.m. O sea, vamos a estar no, hambrientos no, sí. si no desayunamos a las 8 a.m. No. We not breakfast. Uh, Ajá. Ya, ya no, fíjate, pues sigue avanzando. Como somos la sala 2, tal vez nos pregunta de las primeras. Hola, Lisbeth. Hola, Tatiana. Hi, Miss. Out of the meeting already? Hi, Miss. Yes. Yes. We're going to work here.
Okay, so let's start here. We, we have, we're missing some people. Let's wait for them. We're missing Javier, Oscar, Sara, Jose, Pablo. Yes, Eduardo is here. Okay, yeah, okay, very good. Okay, so let's start. We're gonna start with Carlos and Luis. Carlos and Luis. Now, we have a lot of examples here, a lot of options. So let's start. Carlos, give us the example for number three and Luis, number four. Okay. So let me share my screen. One moment. There we are. Number three. Yes. If he get at uh, five o'clock, he will arrive early at work. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Carlos. Now continue there, eh, Javier. We'll be, we will be hungry if we don't eat. If we don't if eat. We don't eat. If we don't eat, what else? What else can we add there? A lot. We don't eat a lot. Okay. Thank you, Javier. Now let's continue with. Let me see. Let me check the groups. Oscar Noé and Sara. Oscar number five, Sara number six. Number five. Yes. Give the pump ring. I will answer the call. I will answer the call. Okay, thank you. Sara? I would love if I go to the circus. If I go to the circus. Okay, good. Thank you. Number seven and eight. Sí, seven and eight. Carla, Pablo, and Tatiana. Seven, eight, and nine. Carla, Pablo, and Tatiana. Okay. If okay. our Carla, Carla, just one person. Number seven. Um, <laughs> if your exam is not tomorrow, Este es este they have they will they will yes they will they look at your examples it, Tendríamos un día más para estudiar. I don't know how to say that. You tell me. They will. They will have a have one day. One day. Study. Study. ¿Qué escribieron en su equipo, Carlos? Es que como cuando yo cuando lo hicimos, este, pusimos, tendríamos un día más para no, estudiar. En, en, en inglés, no en español. Tell me in English, not in Spanish. We are not in a Spanish class. We are not in a translation class. Either. They will they, they will have one day a study. I no remember porque se me borró cuando me salí, se me borró la, la respuesta que habíamos puesto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, just remember here, right? This part is if our exam, our, not they, our exam. If our, you and I, 
our exam isn't tomorrow, here we cannot say day. Day and hour incorrect. They are not together. Miss. Yes, Tatiana? It is we. We will have one more day to study. We will have, okay. One we. more day. One more day. To study. To study. Okay. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Tatiana. Very good. Now, number eight, eh, Adalberto, right? Okay. Yes. They won't buy a new car if they don't have money. If they don't, if they don't have money. Okay, cool. Tatiana, number nine. If you hit me. Me is at uh, is eight. No more. Oh, no more. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's fine. Let's see next group. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right? Give me a moment. Uh, Eduardo, Franco, and Bernardo. Eduardo, number nine. Franco, number 10. No, Eduardo, Eduardo, number nine, Bernardo, number 10, and Francisco, number 11. Number nine. Yes. If you, if you hit me, I will cry. Okay. I will cry. Very good. Bernardo? I'll give you $10 if you buy me a car. If you buy me a car, a car, oh, come on. <laughs> That's not even possible. Okay. Toy car. It's a toy car. A toy car. Okay. If you buy me a toy car. Okay. That's more reasonable. Okay. <laughs> Number 11. Francisco. Okay. If he doesn't take a bus, if if he take a taxi. Okay, now look at this, Francisco. And Jose and Eduardo, can we say if and if in the same sentence? Can we say that? If he doesn't no. take a bus, if he takes a taxi. No, miss. No, we cannot do that, right? What, sh what could be the first option, Francisco? Remember, we have if and simple present, main clause is will. If, simple present, main clause, will. What's the answer, Francisco? Frank? Yeah, I, I don't know, Miss. Okay, and what about the group? No estuvo en el equipo con su compañero? No estaban juntos? Si ¿Sí estaban juntos? Yes, miss. Huh? Uh, but we, we didn't that. We are improvising. But if he doesn't take a bus, he will have to take a taxi. He will have. We will have to take a taxi. We will have to take a taxi or an Uber or an in-drive. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you, Bernardo. Number 12, I have another group here, right? I have Emerson and Imelda, 12 and 13. Emerson, the glass will break. The glass will break if you will drop on the floor. If you will drop, drop on the floor. Drop on the floor. If you drop it on the floor. Okay. Now, 
Eh, Emerson, can I use will and will? What do you think? No. no. This is a mistake. Uh -huh. The glass will break if? Don't use the if, only you will drop it. Why? Because you already have the glass will break. You already have will. What do you do in the next sentence? Remember. If, if the, you uh -huh. don't use will. If you don't use will, okay. Mm -hmm. If you drop it on the floor. On the floor, okay. yes. Excellent. Thanks, miss. So please take a screenshot, take notes, because we're gonna finish here, right? Take a screenshot. Okay. Now, these are good examples. All of them are correct, right? You can use them as uh, examples and we're gonna check the others tomorrow, right? Now, that was people, that was zero conditional, uh, first conditional. So we have seen zero and first conditional. Tomorrow, we're gonna have a speaking practice for, for, for first conditional, right? So please practice. We're gonna have other people to give us the last three examples. Now, uh, we're gonna stop there and we're gonna have here, give me a moment. Tatiana Ivonne Torres Beltran, today is your day. Right, si se va a quedar, okay. avisa, y si no puedo otorgar el espacio a quien más, okay? Okay, miss. Okay, thank you so much, guys. See you tomorrow, bye bye. No contesten la encuesta hasta, hasta el miércoles, por favor. Bye-bye. Good, 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 good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, supporters. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night. Take care. Bye. Bye, Tatiana. Bye, Bye, okay. Bye Lisbeth. Tatiana, what are your questions? Eh. <laughs> Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't question. Um, I miss your <laughs> I don't have questions. Uh -huh. I don't have questions. Uh, oh. Only. Uh, alguna recomendación para. Para entender más. Para entender más el qué? El idioma. Lo que pasa es que eh, casi que todo eh, no me cuesta. Solo el, este idioma sí que me ha costado un montón comprender. Eh, entonces, ¿alguna recomendación para que yo pueda repasarlo y, y comprenderlo más fácil? Mm, no es fácil, porque inglés no es fácil. <risas> Empecemos por ahí. Segundo, us, lo que pasa es que ustedes traducen. ¿okay? Y yo sé que desde el inicio les debimos haber dicho, eh, quien sea que estuvo con ustedes desde el inicio, no hay que traducir, no hay que traducir, no hay que traducir. ¿Ok? Entonces, okay. cosas que usted puede ir haciendo desde ya es que en vez de traducir, para que no le pase lo que, lo que le pasó a la compañera, como traducimos en Google y estamos ahí poniendo las cosas de inglés, de español, de inglés, o sea, Google nos va a dar la respuesta. ¿eh? Es una máquina. Pero nosotros después no lo vamos a aprender. Lo que puede hacer usted es empezar a ver eh, eh, series, series uh -huh. en, en inglés. Póngale los subtítulos sí. para que lo vayan entendiendo. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, mire, por decir algo, un, uno o dos capítulos con subtítulos, está completamente en inglés y luego en subtítulos. Luego, vuelve a ver los mismos capítulos, pero solamente en inglés y con subtítulos en inglés. Uh -huh. Luego, sí. vuelve a ver el mismo capítulo, que ya, lo, ya entiende, ya sabe de qué se trata, lo vuelve a ver en inglés sin subtítulos. 
Fíjese este, que yo entiendo bastante eh, lo que hablan en inglés, pero cuando yo quiero hablarlo, no puedo, me cuesta. No puede porque no tiene vocabulario. Uh -huh. Entonces, tiene que, lo... tiene que usted, ¿cuántas palabras anotó usted este día que aprendió? Ninguna. Ninguna. Exacto. Entonces, hay que ser sinceros, no vamos a aprender eh, vocabulario uh -huh. nuevo si no anotamos el vocabulario tampoco. ¿Eh? Uh -huh. Yo anoto el vocabulario, digamos, yo aprendí la palabra notebook o computer. Uh -huh. La anoto en mi cuaderno, uh -huh. anoto en una página, algo que yo sepa que lo voy a usar. Entonces, yo lo anoto y le pongo el significado o le hago un dibujito así. Al... Yo no puedo dibujar, Ajá. entonces yo le pongo el significado. Eso, eso es lo que me gusta de usted, eh, que nos trata de, de enseñar con imágenes y, y cómo se llama, trato de aprender, por ejemplo, eh, cómo se llama, eh, los nombres de, de algunos objetos en inglés para poder asimilar, o sea, para no traducirlo. Uh -huh. eh, en inglés, sino que saber que, que el aire acondicionado se llama con, eh, conditional. No, condition. Es que no lo puedo. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Entonces, eh, eso es lo que estoy tratando de, de hacer. Este, aprenderme los nombres este, con ver las cosas. Pero eh, no sé si qué me recomienda si 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 me aprendo por decir algo las estructuras como primero el sujeto y todo eso sí claro por eso se las pongo <ríe> eso es que, ese, ese se las tienen que aprender por eso es que siempre es importante eh, saber cómo vamos a estructurar las oraciones primero lo primero Ajá. es la función para qué la voy a utilizar ¿Ok? Por eso siempre uh -huh. les pongo. Si voy a ocupar el simple uh -huh. present para esto. Entonces, para esto me va a servir porque usualmente los estudiantes preguntan, ¿y cómo digo esto? Entonces, no saben cómo decirlo porque no tienen la función. O a veces uno del profesor comete el error de solo darle la, la, la estructura o la fórmula, pero no le decimos para qué lo van a usar. Entonces, primero usted sabe para qué y luego sabe la estructura. Entonces, si yo ah, quiero okay. hablar de mis memorias o de lo que me pasó el año pasado o algo de la redundancia, que voy a utilizar uh -huh. tiempo paz. Sí. Que con el, si quiero hablar de probabilidades, ah, las conditionales, eso me van a servir. Uh -huh. Ah, si es que si no tenés pisto, no vas a comprar el carro. If you don't have money, you won't buy the car. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Entonces, es, es, siempre se tiene que aprender las estructuras, pero okay. tiene que tener vocabulario. Entonces, como por, y también porque usted está, como le dice, está buscándole el equivalente de español a inglés. Y eso no, no es así, porque no, toda la, no tenemos las mismas palabras en inglés y en español. Hay unas que sí. se parecen, hay unas que sí se parecen, pero hay otras que no, o a veces hay estructuras que, por ejemplo, la palabra que usted dice, actually. Ajá. Hay muchos actually. que dicen, ah, actually, actualmente, actually, actualmente, no. Actually significa de hecho, significa dos palabras, de y hecho. Entonces, esas son sí. cosas que tenemos que ir aprendiendo. Tiene que ir a anotar vocabulario para aprender esas uh -huh. cosas que usted va viendo, sabe qué puede hacer. Eh, Tiene post-its en su casa. Sí. Bye. Entonces, haga eso de los pasos. Comencemos con cosas básicas, vocabulario básico. Si usted no tiene, no, no, o si sus hijos, no sé si tiene hijos o no, pero si, si, sí. si sus hijos no le tocan sus cosas, por ejemplo, póngale un post-it o un pedacito de tierra a las cosas. Acá póngale, me diga, mouse, uh -huh. headphones, póngale aquí, cell phone, ¿vale? markers, a todo lo que usted tenga, computer, Wall, eh, todo lo que usted pueda ver y que usted se acuerde cómo decirlo, póngale un, 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 su vocabulario. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando usted vaya a la calle, 
cuando usted vaya en el bus o vaya en su carro, qué sé yo, entonces, trate de acordarse cómo se dice aquella cosa en inglés. Ahí me, car, motorcycle, uh, semáforo, ¿cómo se dice semáforo? Ah, entonces usted ya se va preguntando y si yo no sé, ya mi cerebro va a empezar a, a querer investigar de cómo se dice. Pues. Igual en su oficina, ¿qué tiene en su oficina? Póngale, póngale esos tirritos así, a veces porque los postres son muy caros. ¿verdad? Póngale un pedacito de tiro y le pone el nombre. Y usted se va acordando. ¿Ok? Oh, gracias, gracias. Le, toma vocabulario, mire las series, utilice eso, anote y practique. ¿Ok? Y trate de quitarse el miedo también. Te cuesta, eso es lo que más cuesta, quitarse la pena. Sí, que me, a mí me da pena hablar en inglés, porque sí. sé que mi, mi, mi listening es, es el, y ¿cómo se llama? La pronunciación son malas. Pero es que todos tenemos pronunciación malas, todos. O sea, al inicio de eso se trata, de que como yo pronuncio mal, ¿verdad?, yo estoy pronunciando mal, entonces lo voy a decir mal para que así el profesor que me está ayudando o mis compañeros tal vez que me están ayudando, ellos me van a decir a mí cómo, cómo yo lo voy a decir. Entonces, ah, no, fíjate que no se dice así, se dice de tal forma, ¿verdad? Vale, entonces, usted no tiene por qué dar, que, que, que le dé pena porque otra persona que está aprendiendo español va a hacer lo mismo, va a pronunciar mal. Le voy a poner un claro ejemplo, ¿verdad? Veamos acá. Ya voy a escuchar esto. Permítame. This is... Escucha esto. Esto es de una persona que está hablando en inglés. Es una persona de Estados Unidos y que nos puede entender. Escucha el acento de él en español. ¿Escuchó? Sí. Es eh, como cantado, así como... como... <risa> Cuando está hablando el inglés. Exacto. También. Él, él no está hablando español de la forma correcta en que, le, en que nosotros lo hablamos. Entonces, a él no le da pena. Él solamente lo hace y está practicando. ¿Okay? Entonces, usted tiene que hacer lo mismo. Cuando una persona de otro país está aprendiendo español, ellos solamente practican y ya que salga lo que quiera. Porque eso se trata de practicar. ¿Ok? Entonces usted va a hacer lo mismo. Okay. Entonces, a ti que hable y diga y equivóquese. Gracias. Y otra cosa, no sé si yo le dije al inicio de clase, no sé si se acuerda, yo le dije, yo así me veo enojada, pero no estoy enojada. Usted solo puede. Escuchar. No, para nada. No, fíjese que es, me, me gustó mucho. Eh, Daisy es mi compañera. Eh, a, la, a las dos hemos conversado y nos ha gustado mucho cómo, cómo da la clase. Sí, no, gracias. La verdad que. Este, los consejos que nos han dado es, nos ha servido bastante, yo he aprendido bastante en este módulo ojalá sigamos aprendiendo más sí, <ríe> sí, créame que sí Vaya, y pues, gracias entonces gracias le doy por el tres cositas, ok, vocabulario sí. pronunciación y listening para que vayan, gracias gracias Tatiana, gracias. pase linda noche, bye bye gracias, igual, buenas noches good night good night